definition of insanity is. Insanity is doing the exact same thing over and over again, expecting shit to change. That is crazy. The exact same thing over and over and over and over and over again, thinking this time it's going to be different. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Insanity. And this video really is that. I withdrew basically every single low float skin I have. All of the skins I've been collecting for a very, very long time. I've just got them all out of storage containers and I plan to basically put them all into this one video. So I have always wanted to create the number one AK-47 Wild Lotus because that is a skin that is easily in excess of $20,000 alone. So I purchased this guy, the MP9 Wild Lily, the number two in the entire world. 0001 and it cost me $3,000 just this item alone. I also purchased this, a Quad 06 Blue Phosphor, cost me over $1,000 easily. I also purchased this, which is a Quad 03 Ump Fade, once again, way over $1,000. And previously, I had also purchased these, the Oxide Oasis. I believe this is the number one in the entire world. Yes. Yes, it is. And even purchased another Ump Fade with Triple Zero Three. This is gonna be too high to put in the contract that I am planning for this video. And I think that says enough about how absolutely insane the floats are and how utterly ridiculous this contract is gonna be. I'm realizing at this moment, I actually own all of the top three Ump Fades. I think I've already used a couple, but this guy, he's going in. And if we organized my inventory by low flow and just put in absolutely all of the lowest floats I currently have. Oh, I forgot to mention, I withdrew this guy, the Orp Silk Tiger. I created the number one Orp Silk Tiger and then I traded that for a little bit of money plus the number two so I could have this weapon. And this is obviously going to give us a shot at the number one AK-47 X-Ray in the entire world. So currently with all of the crazy, crazy expensive and low float items Items I have, these would be the outcome. This means a 20% at the gold arabesque with four zeros. This means the new number one orc fade. Obviously, all of these are number ones. The new quad zero orc desert hydra, and then some triple zero one. AK-47s that would be incredibly cool to get as well. However, I'm not satisfied with this. I'm not, these, this is three zeros. This isn't four zeros. So I'm gonna be starting at the industrial grade and then I'm gonna be working my way up slowly creating insane skins, hopefully, on the way. And then we can use all of those right at the very end in the final contract. And that should bring those two AKs from earlier to actually quad zeros and not even triple zeros. The floats of these weapons are just absolutely ridiculous that I'm using. But this contract should give us potential outcomes that look a little bit like this. They're all gonna be like quad zeros and then ones, which are mad. We got very good percentages to hit the control collection. That's what we want to try and hit. And we also got some cheeky ancient YOLOs in here too. I really wouldn't want to hit the Famas Darkwater because the max is minimal wear on that. So we'd get pretty screwed and we don't really want to hit the train either. So the ancient with a non-cap float would be very nice. And obviously the control collection would be very nice as well. So let's get our first item of this video. Let's go. Oh, -oh control collection. And that is going to be a very low float. Four zeros and a one. And it turns out we have actually just created the new number one. M4A4 Global Offensive. I'm not surprised there's going to be so many new number ones created in this video. This time we have these potential outcomes. A whole bunch of quad fours once again from the control collection and then some cheeky quad fours potentially from the habit collection. We obviously don't want to hit the Bengal Tiger for the 3% because that is capped and hitting the train collection as well would not be ideal for like the 17% so hopefully we hit that control collection wouldn't mind a havoc as long as it's not capped let's go oh I did not expect to hit that one and that is not a capped one either quad zero four I like it our YOLO comes in clutch I believe this will be our final industrial 
contract and they're looking pretty good all of the floats obviously we don't want the green lamb because that's capped taking something from the 2021 vertigo would be very cool with super slim chances train collection it's not going to be great but it is going to be usable ideally control collection for basically the 80 percent let's get it 80 percent control collection let's go magna carta and this is norse four zeros and an eight so now we move on to our mil spec trade-ups and these are going to be pretty insane we've got a little havoc collection in there for the how many zeros is this five zeros and then a six glock 18 franklin if that's not on the new number one i'm gonna be very surprised five zeros and a one hypnotic five zeros and a one berries and cherries however we also have some very risky guys in here we got the 16.67% for the lake we can't even use that if we get it we got the 5% at the nitro we can't even use that if we get it and the red quartz I don't think we can use that one either look at the flow of this anodized navy that not the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen let's hope and pray this one hits the control collection or a non-capped havoc let's go Oh ho ho! That is gonna be a very nice flow. Look at that. Four zeros and a one. And that makes it the number one um, crime scene we just created. Once again, control collection would be ideal. Safe house, Italy, lake, all of those are gonna screw us. Those weapons will not be usable if they come out of this contract. Little YOLO in there with the havoc that we just got this night heist from the previous contract as well. Okay, okay, I mean, it could have been worse. This is still usable in a future contract. I think this is a quad zero one, it is. The chances of that were 5%. Whacking our Magna Carta in here that we just got from a previous contract. Definitely a few collections in here that could absolutely screw us, like the safe house and the Italy. If we hit the bank collection, that's not too bad because we can still use the emerald pinstripe. If we hit the havoc collection, that'd be pretty cool as long as it's not a capped item. And overall, we want to hit the control collection, so Lego. Okay, that's pretty sick. It's going to be an awesome flow. Oh, wait, is that the capped one? No, it's not. Woof! Oof, I thought it was. Four zeros and then a two. Which makes that the number two prime conspiracy we just crafted. This once again gives us very good shots at the control collections in exceptionally low flow. It also gives us a few collections that are absolutely going to screw us. And then a couple more collections that could be somewhat useful. Let's go show me that control collection pretty please. Oh no. I knew. I knew it would be the Italy collection for some reason. This is obviously the capped weapon. So this was a complete waste and a big throw away. Everything that comes out of this contract should be useful. I'm not taking the same risk as last time. It really hurts just throwing those low flows. Best collection we could hit would be the Havoc collection. Actually, it has a capped item in it, doesn't it? Okay, there's a very small chance we could hit a capped item. That would be very sad, but let's go. Oh, that is a very nice one. Factory new, Glock 18 Franklin, four zeros and a five. Making that easily, easily the new number one Glock 18 Franklin. I personally think we should now have enough items to start crafting some classifieds. We can always go back to the mill specs later on if we need to. Essentially, I'm trying to reduce my chances as much as possible for not getting that blood in the water. So that's the reason I'm not putting in this MP9 Hypnotic and using mainly 5.7 berries and cherries. However, this contract does give us and 11% for the R8 Amber Fade, that would be so, so bad. But also a 5% at, I'm pretty sure, the number one Cinquedia in the world, which we could uh, try and use to get the prints. And then an 80% for the control in insanely low flow. Putting the crime scene in there that we just created, goodbye my friend. And the Amber Fade we just created as well. And the Prime Conspiracy. Our little YOLO here for the canals is obviously the stained glass four zeros one. Twelve percent at the R8. Revolver Amber Fade, we really don't want that. We want the control collection, we want something really low from it. Even better actually would be the canals, obviously, for the five percent Cinquedio. So let's do it. A little countdown. Three, two, one, Lego. Yes! That is a big sigh of relief for sure. This blue phosphor, <laughs> it's so low. Five zeros and a one, which makes this the number one 
blue phosphor in the entire world. Oh no, do I want to use that in a contract? I also don't really want to use the number one Glock 18 Franklin in a contract either. This one's looking pretty crazy. I think we could make the new number one Orp Silk Tiger in the world with a 12%. We could make the new Mag 7 Cinquedia 6%. Probably the new Mag 10 Hot Snakes as well, I'd imagine. It wouldn't be the <laughs> number one Blue Phosphor because we just made that. But I think in terms of the flow, this would probably be the best item to get. If we get the Peter 50 Franklin, we get absolutely screwed. If we get the RA Amber Fade, we also get absolutely screwed. Everything else is sick. Ray. We hit something usable. Come on, let's go. In three, in two, in one, let go. I hate this skin so much. After that last contract, I got a little tilted. I got a little crazy. This is the new contract that I have structured. As you can see, many, many different outcomes. Most of which are usable apart from the 6.25% RA Amber Fade. I am praying we do not get that, but we could get the Knight, we could get the Blue Phosphor, we could get the Target Acquired, we could get a whole bunch of crazy, crazy collection items in really incredibly low flow. The AK-47 case hardened wouldn't be great because it's only 0001. I guess it would still be usable though. Hypnotic would be far better in terms of float. Don't really want to hit anything from the arms deal 2 because then we're just going to get another scout blood in the water, aren't we? Let's be honest. Arms deal 3 wouldn't be great either, but yeah, chances are split all over the place. I think the knight. I think the knight would be the absolute best, so show me it. Oh, I mean, it's usable. It's usable, isn't it? But, oh dear. So now, with all of our lowest flow items, let's whack them all in. I don't want to put all these cold bloodeds in. I really, really don't. What's it going to look like? Okay, so this gives us a 30% at the blood and the water, a 20% at the world's number one orb fade, a 20% at the world's number one gold arabesque, a 10% at the orb desert hydra, world's number one, and then world's number one wild lotus, world's number one x-ray. The 30% for the blood and the water, guys, I would like, are we... <laughs> I don't know, it's too much. I've checked my restricteds and we are actually still able to YOLO in crazy, crazy contract that could give us a really nice filler. Our last chance to get some kind of filler that's actually going to give us a good weapon. RA Amber Fade, that's going to be a killer. Ultimately hoping for something from the control collection because that will give us the lowest float. Lego! Oh, okay. Coming in clutch. I like it. 001. That should now be usable and it gives me that little tiny bit of extra confidence. So now instead of the blood in the water having the greatest chances, we have the orb fade as the greatest chance. Obviously it's still a 20% at the blood in the water, which is just horrendous. But we also have some incredible weapons that we could hit and they'd all be the number one floats in the entire world. That's what it's all about. However, I am using the number one blue phosphor in the whole world in this contract. And I said I wouldn't do that, didn't I? So if we put in another gold blood, which I believe is just what we're going to have to do, which actually does leave us at a 30% for the blood and the water. <laughs> this is what our final contract looks like. Welcome back to insanity. 30% for the skin of nightmares, the blood in the water. That would be so incredibly upsetting at this stage because of the crazy amounts of money I've spent on this. Number two, Orp Silk Tiger in the world. Number one, um Ump Fade. Number one, Oxide Oasis. Number two, Wild Lily. This contract is just madness. It's just absolute madness. It's one of the craziest contracts I've ever done. Absolute best possible outcome, the $3,000 MP9 Wild Lily could give us the AK-47 Wild Lotus. That would be in excess of $20,000. We'd also be making the number one Orp Fade, which wouldn't be great. I don't think it's that expensive. I guess it depends on the Fade, things like that. The X-Ray, that would be absolutely dope. The Orp Desert Hydra, that would be absolutely dope. Obviously, the Gold Arabesque would be dope. I'd never, ever hit the Gold Arabesque either. But all of these number ones are going to be practically unbeatable or incredibly hard if we manage to get it and not a scalp blood 
in the water. Before I press this button, let's set a like goal on the video. For this video, let's make it 25,000 likes. I would highly, highly appreciate your like because that's how YouTube works. You get more likes on the video, you get more views, your video is promoted to more people. It's just, it all begins with that little like button. This is probably like a seven plus thousand dollar contract as well. Four or 30% <laughs> of the blood in the water. Let's count it down with me. Also, if we hit the 25,000 uh, like goal, then top rated comment down below. I'll go for whatever new number one that is decided by you guys. So let's do it. I got my lucky watch on. I got my, uh, my money pants on because we're going to make some money today and I am ready to go. Let's count it down in three, in two, in one. Let's go. I cannot believe that just happened. I actually cannot believe that just happened. The devastation I'm feeling right now is honestly absolutely unreal. Well, that's a huge $7,000 plus rip, plus a whole bunch of number ones in the entire world. How? How does it give us the blood in the water for a 30% when we have so many world number ones that could just be absolutely incredible and then we get this? Oh, I'm going to make another random like go right here on the spot. If this video gets 50,000 likes, I promise you guys, I will never use another cold-blooded in a trade-up contract ever again in my entire life. Because I'm done. I'm just so incredibly done with hitting like the ridiculously low percentage blood in the waters. But I do it all for your entertainment. As you can probably tell right now, I'm pretty tilted. But I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Um, hit the like go top comment i will do the number one on that hit 50,000 likes no more blood in the waters ever again thank you everyone so so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace